better. And also like dopamine is released in anticipation of a good thing happening. It's not just about reward. Um, it's also when you are anticipating something like from my like kind of research studies, that was more tied to craving, right? But um, in, in kind of our day-to-day lives, it's anticipation. Like that's why when you're when you're a little kid and it's the night before Christmas, like you can't, you couldn't, you can't fall asleep at night because you're excited, you're anticipating something. And actually the day that uh, we were supposed to close on our house, which was like two weeks ago, I woke up that morning feeling like a kid on Christmas. Um, and I was like, I was looking into the neuroscience of it actually, because I was like, how do I activate this feeling more every single day? Because it's a great feeling. And I was so productive. Um, but that was really a day of detachment because we weren't sure whether or not it, we were going to close that day. Um, and it was actually as soon as we decided, oh no, it's not going to happen today. But we'll just drive home. I think we got the call and I was like, oh, you're going to get the keys. And I was like, it's always when you let go. <laughs> so yeah, I think it depends on a person when it comes to what you should delay or what you should purchase. It doesn't even have to be a purchase. It can be any sort of rewarding thing. Like actually something that I've been doing because I have a mountain bike, I'm not like an avid mountain biker, but I love nature. And I also have a ripstick. I love to ripstick just like around my house or whatever it is. Um, and so I told myself the other day, actually, I was like, I'm going to film this content and then afterward I'm going to ripstick and giving myself that sort of little reward of t- like, honestly, it's like playtime, um, like, like not giving myself that it motivated me to go get it done that way. Cause I had something to look forward to and a little reward afterward.